Hey folks, welcome back to a new video. My name is Henry and this is Henry SBTV. And today I'll be covering an in-depth view of the Pyromancer, which is one out of the four classes within the Outriders. Now, this is the third class that I cover in this channel. If you would like to check on my previous videos, I will drop the links in the description below. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of my future videos where I bring information regarding the best titles that are about to come out this year. Now, without further ado, get ready for what it is about to come because we're going to be talking about the pyromancer's fundamentals main powers and skill tree now the pyromancer is a character full of volcanic energy within his ability you will be able to build huge walls of fires as the main fundamentals from this character are explosive attacks, abilities to immobilize hordes of enemies, and the ability to ignite everything that surrounds them. With thermal attacks being their forte, you will be able to see and enjoy glorious battles, even when using melee attacks. Now, your enemies will feel the complete strength of your flames and will ignite instantly. This Spiromancer can be healed whenever enemies die after being marked by one of their attacks. You will enjoy the battle within the game from a close perspective. Now, from close range attacks, you will also need to really focus on using your main powers in the best way possible to inflict as much damage and be able to heal and move freely within the battlefield. Now, talking about the main powers, Pyromancers, just like the rest of the classes, have up to 8 powers, which will also help towards your abilities. Now, the first one that we will be talking about is the Thermal Bomb. Now, this attack will smack down any opponent as they will suffer from a ground wave Full of energy and fire. This comes very handy when attacking at a distance and it includes a fun bonus. Whenever one of your enemies die from this attack, your enemy will rise from the ground and explode. So make sure you combine this attack with another one to secure your kill and be healed at the same time. The second one on our list is Ash Blast. With this attack, you will be able to cover all of your nearby enemies completely with ash and preventing them from moving. This can be used as an offensive attack and a defensive measure. Whenever things are getting out of hands, make sure to use this power to move into a safe distance and regain your ground. Now the third power in our list would be Heat Wave, which will provide you with the ability to generate more damage within a long ratio. This power comes very handy when attacking at mid-range distances. Following up with Overheat, this power will deal damage and knock back to all enemies in a large ratio. Additionally, damage is going to be dealt to enemies afflicted with burned and the status condition is consumed. Power can be used in combination so hit several enemies at once using overheat and finish your enemies using thermal bombs now other powers from the pyromancer will include feed the flames well basically you will select and pull an enemy towards you dealing damage draining health and inflicting ash volcanic rounds are also another power from the pyromancer which basically fill your current weapons magazine with bullets that will ignite the air around enemies next in our list is phaser beam fire and energy beams that deals damage that benefits from 125% of status power inflicting burn and causing interrupt. Lastly we have eruption that creates volcanic eruptions beneath the selected enemy dealing damage to them and all enemies within a small ratio around the target. Now moving on to our pyromancer skill tree just like the rest of our altered ones the pyromancer has three main branches which are ash breaker. Now this one basically boosts the anomaly powers and generally provides provides additional bonus when dealing damage. We also have Firestorm, which this in my list is my favorite one to be honest because this branch is for players that are after inflicting more damage, burning power enhancements, skill damage after using your powers, and anomaly power, which pretty much will consume and will also use more power towards your enemies. And lastly, we have Tempest. This is considered your tank ability. It supports your level of damage that is taken after after each attack and it also enhances your healing ability. So make sure you combine the three of them to create the Pyromancer of your choice. As usual, I want to mention that this game will include multiple customization even with the equipment that you will be using in-game, which will also play a huge role within the impact of your skills and abilities. But that's for you to decide whenever you're playing this game if you're going to be playing as a pyromancer now make sure you comment down below which is your favorite class and also what type of abilities are your favorite ones as for me this has been everything for today and i'll make sure to put up another video so that you can enjoy more of this amazing video game and i'll see you on our next one so stay tuned for more goodbye